I'm here today with Kyle Sams, who's the Acting Deer and Elk Program Coordinator. Kyle, a big part of your job is collecting samples and analyzing samples throughout the state of Kentucky, right? That's correct. So what we have here looks like a normal freezer, but this actually is more than that. It's one of the ways that you are reaching out to hard to reach areas for deer samples, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about this program. So this program we're initiating this year is basically called a Deer Sample Collection Station. And we're gonna put these out um, 12 different locations throughout the state and basically giving hunters the opportunity to voluntarily surrender their deer head for sampling of chronic wasting disease. Okay, when you say voluntary surrendering, it's like you take your deer, you process all your deer, but you leave a very small neck piece up at the top mm -hmm. in the head. You can still mount your deer. It doesn't affect any of that. And then you literally put it in a black bag, zip tie it, provide the information needed, stick the bag in here, and you're done, right? Correct. So, and then a, a certain time later, after all the samples are done, that, that uh, individual, that hunter who donated their deer, will get some information back, right? Correct. They'll learn to whether or not their, their deer is chronic wasting disease positive or, or if it's not detected, and they'll also learn uh, what the age is of that animal. We'll also provide general information of where that deer come from, um, and stuff like that, that to, to the specific hunter. Okay, now we've never had chronic wasting in the state of Kentucky, right. but we have to continue looking. We're gonna continue looking for chronic wasting and this is just another way we get additional samples. How many samples are we hoping to collect this year? We're looking to collect around 2,000 to 2,500 samples. Okay, we can't be at every location at every time, so the best way to do that is to get a hunter to mm -hmm. give us this deer head, allow us to process it, and take care of that for you. A lot of people are kind of looking for that basic information on age anyhow. Yeah, we'll have our biologists look at these and all of them are, are great at aging deer. So we'll give, be able to give you a specific age. So how do you find out more about this program and how do you locate one of these, these drop-off locations? Yeah, so you can go to our website. It's fw.ky.gov forward slash CWD. And there will be information on there that provides you uh, the locations of where these are at and how to participate in the program. And obviously, if you come across a deer that looks to be sick or has any problems, you want anyone out there, hunter or non-hunter, to reach out and make sure that we get a, an opportunity to sample that as well. Yeah, absolutely. If you see a sick deer uh, or elk or any animal for that matter, call us and we'll, we'll respond appropriately. Well, Kyle, I really appreciate your hard work on this program. Hey, you can't have too much data, right? That's right. The more data, the better.